In this video, I'm going to show you eight practical use cases for Anthropic's new Claude Cowork that's going to change how you get work done forever. This is the same agentic technology behind Claude Code, the tool that's been blowing up because of the crazy stuff it's been doing. But now, Anthropic made it accessible to just about anyone by making it incredibly simple to use. We're going to be covering use cases that range from just cleaning up your files to making branded presentations to even teaching Claude the clicks you make on your browser so it can remember how you work and then run them automatically without you ever having to do it again. This is quite literally changing how we do real office work, especially the stuff that eats your Tuesday afternoons. And by the end of this video, you'll stop thinking of Claude as just another chatbot and start treating it as a second pair of hands. So let's get into it, starting with use case number one. All right, so first of all, let me show you how to actually activate Claude Coworker. So if you have the Claude desktop downloaded, you wanna open the sidebar and right here, you'll see something that says Cowork. And you wanna click on that. And this is pretty much all we need to do. Everything we're gonna be doing with Claude desktop is gonna be based off this browser right here. And on the left-hand side, you see you can have Claude running and doing multiple tasks for you all at the same time just by hitting new task, new task, new task, all right? So now that you understand the basics, let's actually dive in. All right, so this should be a pretty easy use case Claude Cowork should be able to do. And all I have to do is just go here and be like, if you guys can see my messy desktop, it's usually not like that, but hey, can you uh, organize my desktop, please? I see there's this thing that says work in a folder. I guess I'll give it access to my desktop. Always allow, cool. And then hit let's go. Oh, cool. So, okay, so you see a lot of random files in my computer are just disappearing. So I guess it just organized 302 of my files into these folders. There's some stuff for the image API. Okay, that's actually really cool. I love that it did that. Okay, so now that it organized my files per se, um, let's see if I can actually find it and do work with it. So it should have access to my files. So if I can say something like, hey, inside um, the AI agents automations folder, I remember I had some context about my company booked in AI. Can you create, I'm trying to create a presentation uh, that's branded with the bookedin.ai colors. You can go look it up from bookedin.ai. And I want you to create a presentation with slide dev on Google slide into Google slides. All right. Okay. So yeah, this is um, something I would potentially do. I want to make some content about booked in AI, what it is, etc. I should have a folder called context here. Yeah, I remember. And they should have a bunch of assets. Now let's see. It should be able to just go look at those files. Oh, this is kind of cool. It found my brand color, vibrant blue. Okay, right here. And now it's going to keep working and make all the branded presentation for me. Okay, nice. And then I get to just sit back and relax. Interesting. So you see now it's asking me questions. Who is this for? Make this for what is booked in. I just want to uh, slide dev and then Google Slides. Actually, no, I'll just do Google Slides. Okay, I like Google Slides personally um, just because you can make them really easily and I can edit it uh, later. So I'm just going to wait, go through this, let it do its thing, and then come back when it's done generating a presentation. Okay, so it got done with the slides. I like how it made it. It's really cool. And just one little thing I want to show you guys is there's this Claude desktop extension I downloaded right here. And here, let's say I want to change this. I could be like, hey, can you change the slide so it looks way more uh, with more emojis and stuff like that? Okay, so it executed a bunch of steps and it just like added these emojis, etc. But it's really cool. I like this simple design. Um, this is just one easy way to make slides. And if you notice, the thing I said initially was like use slide dev. And slide dev is just, it's a tool that Cloud Code uses to kind of create a presentation and then export it into Google Slides. And personally for me, I've seen that has a lot more resilience and it can use my assets really well. So that's just a pro tip. All right, so for the next use case, this is something I do all the time. 
And this is to both grow my LinkedIn audience and get more YouTube views. And what I do is just whenever I make a YouTube video, I make this really cool um, video to preview the entire YouTube video so people can have a glance and add this high converting uh, squeaky noise. So for example here. So now if I wanna make this, it's actually a tedious process. You have to shrink down the video, you have to add this noise and make it so that uh, and make it so that it's really really compact and you can post it on LinkedIn pretty easily, right? Now what I can do is I can just make a new task and let's say I have this file right here, uh, Gemini AI Agents. Hey, I have this uh, Gemini AI Agents file. I want to make it into a lead LinkedIn lead magnet. Can you make it into that fast squeaky video so I can upload it, please? And then I hit go, cool. And you see how there's a context, it's working with the files, it has a skill, all the stuff. Um, I guess it can't find my file. I wonder if I can just do this. Oh, see, okay, now you can just drag files here and then you can reference it. This one. Great, so got done with that. Um, this is where it called it. Let me try it out. Okay, cool. Uh, I get the gist. Okay, yeah, so it's as simple as that. It's kind of just like, it's taking a video, it's actually editing videos, it's inserting new audios and doing all of that without me having to actually go in specify much. And this is gonna be really useful for me going forward. Because I, I can also automate things like, I can be like, hey, go post this into LinkedIn. And what it'll do is open up LinkedIn, write up a draft post, upload it, etc. And also, if you have a lot of different types of work, you can go into claude.com slash resources slash use cases. And you can see Claude already pre-made a lot of things you can do with it. Like if you want to pull metrics and analytics from your dashboard, and then put it onto a spreadsheet. If you wanna prepare and plan from your calendar, if you wanna compare a lot of products across sites, so let's say if you have 10 tabs open of different products, you wanna compare all of them, get Claude to make you a list, you can do that. You can update your CRM and log any of your calls to your CRM. You can clean up all your promo emails, organize your Google Drive file. There's so many little things you can do and you know, we're just scratching the surface with what we're doing right now with this Claude co-work skill. And I'm gonna be exploring this really, really in depth. And I wanna show you some new use cases that you might not know how to do or Claude even tells you how. This is arguably one of my favorite parts of the new Claude co-worker. And let's imagine you have, let's say a big sheet where you wanna take these Okay, I'm just being pretty easy right now. And generate new images for Nano Banana, right? Um, okay, so that's what you'd have to do. You'd have to go here, you'd have to copy it, and then you'd have to wait. And after you're done waiting, it generates an image for you. And then, you know, you get that image and then you copy it back, right? That kind of stuff. So I personally don't wanna do this. So what can I do? I can go to Claude right here and I can be like, teach Claude, okay? And I can start recording. I can be like, hmm, here, copy, go to, uh, what's this notion thing going? And then go to Gemini and then come here and then paste and then hit enter and then wait. And you see how it's done, right? Now, if I go back and I hit done, it generates, it, I'm basically teaching Claude, hey, this is what I have to do. Now do it for all of them, right? Okay. And I can create a shortcut. And if you really want, let's say you have to do this every day, you get new prompts and stuff like that. You can even schedule this thing. But right now, let's just create the shortcut. And let's say if I, if I ask it, use the skill 
to go through all these prompts and generate the nano banana images. And then you see how it just types in each of those prompts inside and then just like without me having to do anything, it starts actioning it on its own. I really like how, you know, you can record skills now, you can teach it to Claude and then even make it schedule it to do all these actions on your own behalf. Okay, I don't want to eat through all my credits, so I'm going to stop it. But this is one way that I have been using to kind of create visualized slides when I'm trying to show you guys a cool concept or whatnot, right? I will make these slides and I'll take it to like Canva or something, but now I can just get Claude to do a bunch of that. Okay, now let me show you a really cool use case that I like. So imagine I want Claude to go fetch data from some external service like PostHog. So I wanna know how many visitors and daily active users I'm getting. And then I wanna plot that out inside, let's say, a Google Sheet, right? What I can do is right here, I can be like, hey, can you go to PostHog, collect um, my daily active users, and then put that stuff on a Google Sheet so I can analyze my last month? And notice how I'm not having to do much right now. It's just doing all the stuff and asking me permis permissions. So it goes to my post hog and then sees my daily active users. And I'm assuming it's just like taking screenshots or collecting all this data. And right now I can see I have browser access and it's literally just controlling my browser like I would to do this kind of task. And you see it's going through this stuff. I actually don't know how to use post hog. It's super complex. But, you know, I like that I have Claude Coworker now that can do this stuff for me. And, you know, I can have this running. I can have 10 different tasks running all at the same time. Uh, you see how it's like going through the post hog, seeing what's going on. Okay, so I see now it's deciding to download some CSVs. Cool, so I just downloaded it into my computer. And because it has access to stuff in my computer... It's going to use that to create a CSV. Okay, it got done. And for some reason, it made numbers. Uh, I guess Apple, that's the native one. Hey, I don't understand this. Can you just tell me the general trends and what I should look out for? Okay, uh, it's just being creative with it. It made all this fancy graphs. It took that uh, the data it got from post hog, and then it just made all these things and okay cool holiday dip new year surge cool i mean these are cool insights i can get from my data and my post hoc right now normally it was really tedious to go find the data analyze it but cloud coworker <laughs> it can just do all of the stuff for me now one of the really cool use cases i really like about cloud is the fact that you can teach it any skill you want and what that means is for example Claude inherently doesn't have the ability to generate images. But what I did was I gave it access. I just told it, hey, Claude, can you make a skill for yourself where you're able to use this API whenever I ask for an image? And I gave it my WaveSpeed API key. And what it did is it created this image and skill. And from there, now I can just say, hey, make me images. And it can create images for me in Claude, which it couldn't do. And if you want to give your Claude superpowers like this, you can just go here, hit settings, and right here under capabilities, if you scroll down, you can see their skills. And you can do, and what you can do is you can hit example skills, and there's so many skills that you can add. You can write your own skills, you can use the skills Claude has, or even use the awesome Claude skills. You can go and find this awesome Claude skills in GitHub. And you can just copy the link, give it to Claude and be like, hey, download this skill, okay? And you can see there's so many skills for you to try, like competitive ad research. So you can research your competitor's ad, for example. There's so many different types of skill. So many people have built that are experts in this. And you can just go ahead and download it. This kind of makes Claude super extensible and you can use it for so many different things. And this kind of makes Claude super powerful. But if you do want to see how powerful and the really insane stuff you could do with Claude, check out this video right here where I'm going to dive in and show you the real power you can extract from it.